What's the one part of summer most people could live without? But what's warm weather without a few summertime pests? Mosquitoes are usually considered summer's biggest pest, especially here in Minnesota. But let's not forget things like mice, black flies, spiders, and ants. The list of summertime pests is long, but there are ways to get rid of these little critters. Care 11's Brad Woodard shows you how. Mention the name ABBA and it's music, not pest control, that comes to mind. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. But then you've it's probably never met Chuck McDonald of ABBA Environmental Pest. It's so much better to prevent and, and so much easier. Chuck loves his work. I mean, the amount of mice that would come from an area like this, carpenter ants, spiders, everything. But he despises pests. The two main pests that we're having a lot of issues with right now primarily are ants and mice. The mice are because of accumulative mild winters. The ro overall rodent population around the Twin City metropolitan area is very high right now. So these mice continue to put pressures on the home. And McDonald is putting pressure on the mice. As an environmental company, it's our philosophy that reducing the amount of pesticides is always a good thing. So instead of pesticides, he's using bait. These are just feeders, and we're basically feeding the mice a food that we know will help us thin the population and therefore take the pressure of them chewing and trying to find alternative ways into the home. He also seals up any openings mice could potentially get through, any opening bigger than a quarter of an inch. About this width of this pen a mouse could go through. As for the ants. Ants love ridges. They love trails and corners to trail. He uses a bait that only targets them. We believe in the use of baits and allowing the ant to hoard back our material, stockpile it in the colony, where we can have a, an actual knockdown in the colony. His guiding philosophy, know your enemy. In other words, if you have ants, have them identified by an expert. Once you identify any target pest, you're going to know how fast it will reproduce, where it's most likely to harborage, what it's going to feed on, and all of these things will influence your control measures. I think sometimes people look and they think an ant uh, is an ant is an ant, you know, they're all the same. And in fact, it, it's really not the case. You know, there's probably about 11 or so different species that actually might come indoors. When it comes to the outdoors, summer is but a brief respite from the harsh realities of winter. <laughs>